morning. How are we today? Um, me, myself and I, I'm doing okay. Um, I had a bit of a rough night because um, I put my back out yesterday, reaching for something on the floor at an awkward angle. Bad move, real bad move. So today I'm wearing me weightlifter's belt in an attempt to keep me upright and square. So without further ado, good morning. Yeah, doubled up, mm, doubled up last night um, on my painkillers. Um, and actually took a sleeper last night, and I don't like to do that if I can help it. But um, last night it was important that I got a little bit of sleep at least. Um, and um, yeah, let's just say uh, it was a rough night <laughs> and leave it at that. Anyway, I'm hoping your evening was better. Hope you slept better. Um, it's nothing worse than having a bad, bad night's sleep. Anyway, today I want to make myself a bit of a wheelhouse. So, I need a bit of a, a bit of stick first. Because that's going to be my, a little bit of stick. Important bit of stick, that. And, like with other things. Oh, I have to repair my glasses again. Gonna do here. So there we go. Not look bad. You get the good side today. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, so yeah, I moved you over there because yesterday my phone got red hot because it was sitting right on top of where my fire was blaring. So, so yeah, you can hear it in the background roaring away. Good little fire. Mm. Steamy windows. Right, so, okay. Oh, I make a crap copper. I do. That's why I like to go far and wide. Um, to have a cup of tea I don't have to make myself or a cup of coffee or whatever so yeah you might hear in the background my neighbours they're um, redoing our fence or they're redoing their side of the fence um, good people um, I've been lucky we touched that really lucky um, to have such brilliant neighbours. I meant to tell you the last time I did it. Something good for making stuff with is these thin coffee stirrers. They're like lolly sticks, only thinner. And they make for, well, you'll see. If we get that far today, you'll see. of uh, fencing so yes so today yeah that's my plan we'll spin chip walk round so you can see what I'm actually doing today um, there. right so what I want is I want a kind of triangle shape and I need two of them and of course when you're making two of anything and you're cutting it and you want it to stay as near as damn it to um, symmetrical you uh, fold it so that you can get the two halves in one yeah makes sense doesn't it um, but this time around I'm gonna have to do it twice
we've had a, a few very windy years in which we've had to replace fencing pretty much every year um, because the wind has been colossal it never used to be as bad but that was when we had 20 foot lay land oil around the side of the house um, and I had about about 200 250 feet of it um, if not more um, around the garden and um, unfortunately um, some local vandals decided that it'd be funny to see it alight we nearly lost the house through it twice um, which again isn't funny so yeah, we um, because of such things we um, we got rid of it. We put fencing in, but now the wind howls through the gardens, tearing up all the fencing that wasn't didn't have to be so um, so robust because obviously the um, the land I were taking the brunt of it. No, it ain't. We have issues. What can I tell you? But, you know, small things to worry about in the grand scheme of things. Not really a lot. So, I have my shapes. Very shortly I'll show you what I'll do with them. Um, and, and that's pretty much all this is. It's, it's about building things up organically. The other thing it is, is it's keep me sane because I'm stuck indoors and, and, and when you're stuck indoors you have to have something um, because without it you will go stir crazy so everybody should have a hobby mine just happens to be talking to myself and um, making stuff um, Ah, I see. You have an issue. You have an issue with some gunking around there. So I have to repair my gun because she won't work with glue. I don't know if you've ever had this with a glue gun. But glue guns tend to leak every bleeding way on themselves. One of my pet hates with glue guns. One of my pet hates with hot glue is, yeah, occasionally you have to do on the spot repairs you wasn't expecting to have to do. No, no. building a kind of wheelhouse well not so much a wheelhouse but a wheel holder um, which is cool Off. 
so it's giving me a, a spike if you like. A spike if you like. I was a poet and I didn't know it. And what I did was I made the second bit in two halves. As I said before, I'm not too worried about how it all looks at this present moment in time because I'm going to be painting it on. Uh, and I will be getting rid of most of the flotsam and jetsam. The bits that stick out and over and under and that shouldn't be there. We'll get rid of that. And I'm going to need to. Then I'm going to. Where are you, Mr. Circle? Well, hang on. Right, these. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. These are caps that you put on screws that you screwed into the wall just to cover the screw up. Mostly on shelving and stuff. Well, I'm going to mount this thing completely backwards to the way it should be mounted. Um, because I want that little boss to show through. And this is the makings of my wheelhouse. Or my, my steering wheel bit. So, of course, I'm not going to need that at the back. I can now cut that off on the flush. There you go. So once I've got that, I've done that. I've got that far. Now I need to add some steering bits. Now I haven't got, as much as I'd like to have, I haven't got um but I do have right okay so back in the day when my wife was into um, making jewelry she bought a lot of these wires with a flat end on them um, jewelers jewelry makers will recognize them straight away I'm sure, like pins they are, but very long. These are a bit rusty and they've, they're past their sell by date if you like. And the uh, chromine is coming off of them, but that's fine because that suits me for what I need. Um, and what I'm going to do is, I am going to measure them to a height and then glue them on. That's what I'm going to use. Now you can use bits of matchstick or just bits of general wire to do this. It's not, you know, at the minute I'm just doing what I can with what I've got. Um, you might not have this. So if you haven't got this, that's not a problem. Because you can do your own thing. It's not a big issue. Hello, Mr. Spider. Want to go visit every? Go on, fella. Let's go find somewhere else to partake. This is not to it today. So, yeah. And my plan is just to stick them on like that. I'm not even too bothered if they're all the same length. Not 
too bold, but obviously don't want too far. Okay, so. And so I think I'll just carry on cutting these for a moment as best I can and we'll talk in that way. I'm not worried about the other bits because they'll come in handy with something else. I won't waste any of it. You know, I've got to my licky fingers again. Probably not wise in this climate, but hey. As I said in the background, you can just hear my, my neighbour doing his best to um, fix our fencing. Fencing that runs between my place and his place. I've already had the expense of um, paying out for the fencing at the back of the garden and I was... Oh, well, that didn't go to plan, did it? Never mind, I'll try again. I'm going to shoot downwards. Try not to cut all the way through. As I said, I'm not going to waste any of this. Oh, maybe the bits that fire off and I can't find, but... Other than that, I won't be wasting these bits of metal. They'll get a place, they'll get us something. And as I said, you can do this with any bits of wire. Really, I just wanted the... Uh... Oh. Yeah, I can see you doing a lot of that, Jeff. Maybe just cut one at a time. Hey, bro. Yeah, that'll do. And that one there. That's it. Alright, so. End of the day. the next one there. Next one. There. And we'll put the next one. Last but no means least, as they say. And then just to finish off, we can do it around the top there.
And uh, there's my little steering wheel. What do you reckon? Yeah, it'll do. And we should put that. And we should put this on that. On here. Obviously facing the right way. Just like that. So, yeah, now we'll keep those bits handy because I want to wanna decorate anything. Find them dandy. I have something to decorate it with. Oh, if I need a bit of wire or something, I have lots of bits of wire. For just that something. So, I shall I'll keep these separate from those in there. Um, yeah, not over keen on my coffee today. Doesn't taste right. Might have overdone it on the washing up liquid. Nah. So, so there we go. I've got me steering wheel. Now, my next plan is to. I've pretty much got that, I've got that, sorted that. Now before I put that on, I want to get the back bit done, I think. <coughs> Finish that off. Make it pretty. Bit of measuring, a la Jeff. So we want it about that long. Did have a pencil, oh there you go. Right there. And I want and it's got to be so I hope I'm doing it as square as I can. Look at that. So that's right there. Yeah. So, I know how long it is, roughly. Now, like the other one, I need it to be similar. So, if I hold that there, yeah. and we have right there, and right there. So, I'm going to do this.
Oh yeah. We'll go from that center. Bottom it. And what I've done is I've come just proud of the actual because That's what this bow is, it's just organically growing, a bit like that. This must be terribly boring for you, because I'm actually doing something. You're just sitting there watching me, and listening to me prowl. But that's okay. If you are watching, thank you for watching. And keep me company. Because that's pretty much all you are at the minute to me is a good company. But don't say a lot. <laughs> and leaves me to talk to my own devices. Which is probably not a good thing, but hey, it is what it is. You know? And I shall just secure this. At the bottom, you know, just you know, get it secure. It ain't going nowhere. I'll tell you what, that glue gun glue is hot, even through card. Who the thought? supposed to be centre. We are far from it, but I am worried. Worried? Do I look worried? No, I'm not worried. I might be one out. I might indeed be one out. But yeah, we live and learn. So, there you go. My keel was a bit lopsided. And so there are else, but it doesn't matter because we're going to hide most of that. I'll show you how to do that too. Now, I might be cutting today. I'm not even going to bother trying to read them. Uh, they'll get swept up and put in the bin. Or they'll get swept up and put in here. I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see if I can get down there. 
however I'll just leave the, like the rest of the rubbish on the floor because it's my workshop and I don't mind it being on the floor eventually it'll get swept into a dustpan and thrown in before I have anyway. right now don't worry about it I'm not worried so do you know what I was telling you about these lolly sticks these lolly sticks yeah love them they um they they just create so many possibilities for me I like these lolly sticks not yet now what are you doing Jeff think about it you are making the back look pretty for a minute yeah, I can do that I can do that okay so I'll do a lot of things haphazardly just to give me a sense of, a sense of clarity um, and give everybody else a sense of clarity I do often just carry on regardless there's a broken one over here and I want that one on the end of the broken one because to get the angle right You know what I mean, where that little bit of wood? Look at that, doesn't that make a nice little stair board? Don't you think? So, yeah, I like these. I like these lolly sticks. They are uh, fun. Do this kind of thing. That's a bit at the wrong angle. That's where that. So yeah, do you know, you run out of things to talk about to your friends and stuff. Um, anyone that's had to spend any time, any length of time at home knows that, you know, there's only so much you can tell people about, I got up, I did the washing up, I, um, I overed, I sprung cleaned, I and the only people that actually realise this are stay at home mums, um, carers that are caring for um, elderly or disabled people, disabled people themselves most definitely, um, and you run out of things to talk about um, because you know what you've done all day, you've, you know what everybody else has done in the house all day. Um, and so you can't just how can I put it you can't make that kind of conversation you can't invent conversation that isn't there um, so if you've seen someone all day doing the same thing all day and you haven't um, and you've been in their company all day it is difficult to find something to talk about to them other than you know what's on the telly oh, yawn. we know what's on the telly we both just sat there and watched it um, uh, or watch a film and then discuss it afterwards which is good fun I must admit but there's only so many times you can do that with certain films um, and stuff um, discuss politics well you know if one side of the family or one part of the family is sick and tired of politics and your politics differ that causes problems 
Even in the happiest of families, that causes problems. Shit, politics will do. What was the three things I was told when I was a kid? Three things you don't make a discussion of in a pub. Politics, religion, football. In that order. My attitude with that was, I had the same answer for all of it. My answer was, religion, up the reds, politics, up the reds, football, up the reds, job done. But again, it's, it's that thing, <laughs> you, you're indoors, you're stuck in the same house, same four walls, um, knowing exactly the same as what the other person knows, doing um watching the same tv programs and everything else i mean it's better nowadays because we've all got different distractions like we basically have a tv of our own or or a device that we can watch something a program on of our own like a, a phone or a, a laptop or whatever and you could you could watch different things that, than each other but then um that causes problems in itself because I know for a fact I wind the wife up by saying, what are you watching dog? What's it about? What's happening now? And she's like, well watch the bloody programme, you'll find out. Mm. Of course, you know, that defeats the object. The idea is to have a conversation about something. So, my um, solution to it um, is... Um, to have completely separate hobbies that you can go to each other and say look what I did today look what I made look what I was got up to um, what did you do well my wife she likes to make cards and stuff and I do all sorts of stuff but my wife's into making cards I might, I might have mentioned it before that she's um, she's into a company called um, stamping up and she she buys their, their stuff because it's good quality stuff and um, she um, she makes stuff you know she makes cards it takes her a long time to do it it takes her a lot of thought process to do it and it tires her out something chronic but she does it and the fact that she does it means that when it comes to after getting together later on, she'll say to me, what did you do today? And I'll be able to turn around and say, well, I did this. What did you do today? And she'll say, oh, I did this. And we'll have something different to talk about every day. And that's how we're getting through it. And that's how we're dealing with it. That's how we're we're coping. Um, and we have our, our own interests as well. Um, my wife likes all the murder mysteries and whatever. I often joke that if uh, if I were to die under mysterious circumstances. <laughs> My wife would definitely know how to get away with it because she's seen enough of these programs. Shit, there's some of them programs she watches and it's just one person doing all the detecting and you think, shine a light, you wouldn't want to be their, their friend, would you? Because it seems every week one of their friends gets murdered. And that's like, yeah, okay. Yeah, you definitely wouldn't want to be one of their friends, would you? What's that, Mrs. Mabel? You wouldn't want to be her mate. Every one of her friends dies or gets accused of murder.
every week. <laughs> mm. I don't know, do you watch things weekly now? I don't think you do. I think you binge watch them nowadays, don't you? I know I've binge watched a bit, a few things just recently. One of my mates was saying something about a, a motorbike program that was worth having a look at. Um, called Sons of Anarchy. Seems like. And since that, it seems like everybody wants to be a a jacks. But, you know, entertainment value is great. I enjoyed it. Um, I think it's taken a sidestep from, from reality, to be quite honest. But, yeah. Because the reality of most bikers isn't like that at all. At all. Um, as a matter of fact, a lot of bikers distance themselves from that kind of bad... Uh, publicity and whatever but as a as a you know a drama yeah but don't take any of it to heart don't take anything person any of it personally or don't for I say take it as red and think that every bike was like that because it is so far from the truth it is shockingly bad Like the things they get up to in there. If, if a bike gang tried it every week to get away with what they get away with every week, that bike club wouldn't be open long. They'd be shut down in a heartbeat. Believe me. Absolutely believe me when I say that. They would be shut down in a heartbeat but as I said for entertainment value yeah it was fun please don't take it to gospel you take it as gospel you will be offending some of your bike friends very badly If in fact you have any. Um. Um. Yeah. But yeah, I binge watched it. <sighs> Interesting. I like some of the actors in it. Anyway, from different things that they've done. Um, in the past, but. Um, yeah, yeah, you've got to take Sons of Anarchy with a, a, a large dose of. Uh, tongue in cheek. Fun though. Definitely was fun to watch. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm going to have to knock this on the end very soon. My back is killing me today. Yeah, it's swearing at me quite a bit. Well, even my comfy cushion is helping today. Uh, not at all. So I think what I shall do is now I've got this far and I don't know what the hell have we got. Yeah, 45 minutes. Uh, I've done a stint today. Right, so all I've done is tidied up the back just to give me some symmetry. Yeah. And there I've made myself a little Steering wheel, just quite, not quite centre, it's just a bit off. Because I'm, you know, you need to steer around the mast, I'm assuming. So I'll just put it a little tad off. Oh.
that's just my mind working over my own time really um, you can put your steering wheel wherever you want it doesn't matter at the end of the day no one's going to be floating it yeah it wouldn't last that long in water so anyway yeah I think that's my lot for today I think I'm going to I'm going to call it a day be good to each other be safe I love you all.